Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to part six, I believe, of the uh, com gaming computer build, which uh, I'm trying to build for 99p, which actually now the new goal is trying to build it for free, which I've obviously managed to achieve. You remember from the last episode, we got a, a whole system there that managed to work. It's got an i5 chip in it. Um, it does work. See how it's on. Um, we've got the graphics cards, the RAMs, the fans, uh, the, some other previous CPU chips that we managed to get in the early episodes. Um, over here we've got a load of keyboards and monitors. Um, but I received some comments about this uh, machine here. And basically it could be perpetual. So it could be, uh, is that the word? it could be manufactured so that only the parts would work with this system so that wasn't the goal the goal was trying to get all the individual parts and not just the goal but to have fun and try and get all the individual parts which we've managed to do um, and we're trying to put it into the half case which if you remember from the previous episodes we've already installed the power supply we just needed to get all the other bits and pieces well i can tell you um that we have managed to secure the final piece so this is the new position so let's get the final piece and here it is it's, a, it's another unit um, it's an e-system case uh, the reason, and sorry guys, first of all, um, I apologize for the delay in the video, got a bit busy. Um, and then it takes a while to find pieces when you're trying to get pieces for free. So I recommend you subscribe because you never know when I'm going to post a video, when I'm going to get a piece to do another video. So hit the subscribe button and then you should be notified when uh, I put a new video up. Um, thank you for all the views. Uh, much appreciated but yeah we managed to pick up the uh, e-system case we don't need the case but the good thing about this is there's a motherboard inside um, and it looks like a more of a gaming motherboard the only thing I can see on it is called Foxconn that's the only thing I know about it there is a power supply there is another fan there is a HD H drive, there's a, another storage drive and there is a DVD player. Um, what this is going to give us though as well is a load of screws and standoffs that we didn't have. Um, so what I'm going to do in this video, and it also came, sorry, also came with this cooler and it looks like a Foxconn, see that, that way, Foxconn stock cooler. That's, so it all needs cleaning, um, but what I'm going to do is dismantle it all um, and see what parts we get. And then that was going to give us, that should give us all the parts we need to build our ultimate gaming machine. Well, the basis of one anyway. From then on, we're going to start uh, upgrading it. So let's take it all apart. Let's take all the bits out. Um, the other thing I'm really happy about is it's got an an AI at the front, is it AI or IO? Anyway, it's got all the ports and stuff and power buttons, so we may be able to utilize the cable, which I can see it's running here. So that cable, power button, you remember it was missing off the first case, so we'll be able to get that in there. Hopefully, try and fix that into there. Um, but yeah, let's get this, let's get all the bits out. Starting with our trusty Amazon Basics, not Amazon Basics, but whatever this is off Amazon Toolkit. Um, probably going to need a bit bigger than that. That'll do. And um, I'll start collecting all the screws and all the standoffs and take a closer look at the motherboard and anything else that I managed to salvage out of this, this case. Um, so let's get to it. Uh, 
There you go, there's a computer screen. Computer screw. I don't know where to start actually, so <coughs> let's see if the front comes off. I believe most computers' fronts come off to give you good access to stuff. You can see some clips. Most, most cases have their front come off. Uh, you can see all the cables there, right? So let's see if we can unplug those. So we've got a cable attached here. I'm going to bring you down a bit as well. I've just worked out how to use my tripod. If you want a tripod or want to know what this tripod is, I can link it in the description below, but it's pretty good. It's Amazon Basics. How do I, there we go, that's how you bring it down, just a windy stick, excellent. Um, right, let's see if we can start unplugging some stuff carefully, oh yeah, that one's come off. is there this one here that one is clipped in pretty good so Being careful, don't pull it by the cables, try and grasp the uh, you know the, the connector from the sides so that the cables don't get pulled out. Um, and that should be it for that. There we go, so we have our front off. Now, as you can see, we've got two clips here. This is for the reset button, and this one's the power button. Oh, it don't matter which way around. And then you've got the lights. Again, there's some clips in there. Try and lodge them. Don't ever tug at the cables. Well, I might have to on this one. Yeah, a little bit. Just pry that back, and a little tug. There you go. So we have our. Power cable uh, reset right there, so we can definitely use that. Right, if they if they all if if it's one cable matches all. Now that was on the top. So this is power, or was power, which is orange and white, and this was reset. Now it doesn't say on there, so I better write it down, otherwise I'm going to forget. So power was orange and white, and reset was blue and a white with a blue line. My rocket book, as you know, reusable orange, white equals power, blue, and white, blue equals reset. Excellent. And what else do we have? We have a uh, the I.O. which is two USBs, looks like a very old type, it's got a white in the middle. If it's got a blue, that means they're faster data transfer, or USB 3 or 2. Um, we've got some headphone 
inputs there so we'll just take that off we don't know if we're going to be able to use it but we'll take it off anyway because if I remember right on the half case it's a horizontal configuration but we'll see maybe I'll have to get the Dremel out and uh, make it work right We don't need that anymore. Um, if you want this case, I'll tell you what, message me in the messages below and we'll see if we can sort something out. Um, but if anyone wants a, a free case, I'll clean it up and you can have it. If not, uh, if you don't message me below, message me on my Instagram, which is Mr. Hurricane. But I'll, if I can, I'm still learning how to edit, so if I can put a description of my Instagram in this video, then you can message me there. Um, and we'll figure something out, whoever it might be, uh, for you to get get this case. Obviously, nothing will be in it. So we'll just disconnect everything. That should slide out. No, it's attached to the other side. Of it. Yep. That's probably going to crash on the f go falling down. And then these screws are different. Ah. There we go, we've got oh Western Digital Drive. So that it's a Western Digital Drive. Um, can't see the size of it. Yeah, got another drive. So that's two drives we have. One I put into there and it worked. And then we've got this one here. Can you hear that computer? It's as if it's bellies rumbling. We're going to figure out what that noise is. You know if your computer makes that belly rumble sound? Yeah, what is that? Anyway, let's keep, let's keep going. Got another connector here. Jesus, we haven't seen these in a long time. Now this is connected to the D. This is connected to the, uh, the DVD player, and that's power. Actually, and I don't need the power supply. I don't think. How big a power supply is this one? Two hundred and forty volts. Is it? That's not very big, but it is good enough for old-style computers. Again, trying not to pull on the wires, but only the connectors. And there you go. That one's time come off there. Salvage all these computer screws. Don't know what those two screws are doing. So I think it's time to get this motherboard out. Okay, so the 12 pin, if it is a 12 pin, is clipped in. So you've got to pry that back. And you've got to get to the bottom of that to do that. There you go. That's the power supply disconnected from everything. 
on the motherboard. One, two, and just systematically go and see if you can see any screws. There's another one on this level. This is why this screwdriver is good because you can just hold it and spin it and it does the job. Um, there's a link in my other videos to this screwdriver kit. So go and check it out. That's four screws. So it doesn't look like a big motherboard. And from what I've learned, we call this an ATX or an ITX motherboard. There's a ton of connectors on it which weren't being used. I wonder why. And that should be it. Don't don't force it. Just give it a little gentle and see if there's any screws missing. It looks like I've missed some screws maybe. Or well, the IO shield is keeping it nice and tight I don't know but there's something missing I can't see any other screws why is it not coming out do a double check on the other side yeah this one here oh yeah I've got it oh it was just probably from old age got a bit stuck All right the hell are these things all right there we have it guys we have a motherboard let's put it the right way around who knows oh and it's got some RAM with it as well no idea what kind of RAM this is why don't they put what RAM it is on there how do you find out what RAM you've got? I've no idea. I've got two sticks there, two sticks in there, and two sticks here, and none of them tell me what they are. So you just to take the RAM out, you pry these back. Actually, pops out by itself. Um, so HP RAM, but it doesn't tell me if it's DDR and how much. And the speed 512 MG one up. I'll have to go and look up on the on the computer and figure out all these RAMs so we have more RAM but yeah there she is this is a it's not one I've had before ever oh some of the pins don't look good at all yeah some of those pins so you would put your pry that open one somehow this lifts no no maybe not should lift right yeah, this way uh, you can see some damage on those pins I don't know if you can see it but yeah that's not gonna it's not gonna work unless I get a magnifying glass oh yeah there's quite a lot bent that sucks. Well, that doesn't look like a, a motherboard we're going to be able to use, but we'll try it anyway. Yeah, there's pins bent all over the place. We'll see if we can get in there, bend some of those pins back. Um, yeah, and do the best we can with that. I don't know what type of socket that is. That's big damage there. I don't know what type of socket that is, but uh, we'll figure that out. We'll clean it up. We'll figure it out. Um, we'll see if we can use it. So it's a Foxconn motherboard. I think you call them ITX. It's got a isn't that a battery? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll fix it up and we'll see what we can do. If not, um, I've had a had a result. So on Gumtree you can buy uh, oh sorry. 
yeah, on Gumtree you can pick up stuff and then I, you can sell it on eBay. So I picked up uh, some chairs for free and a table, which I needed. But I didn't need the chairs, so I sold the chairs for 40 quid. So we've, po we've pocketed 40 quid, right? Um, I had these two lights. I didn't need them. I've had them since I was young and, you know, I don't need them. I've sold them for £10 each. So that's another 20 quid. That's 60 quid. So if worse comes to worse, I'm going to have to buy a motherboard. I've got 60 quid in the bank. 60 quid I've... I've made actually trying to build a computer for free um, so we're starting to accumulate and I've sold some other bits as well but what I'll do is I'll calculate what I've sold and tally it up and then we may be able to afford some parts that actually work and are not damaged and and so forth um, but yeah so that's it guys we've got a motherboard we've got a computer over there with a motherboard which I'm going to take apart I'm going to take the chip out of the CPU um, and see if it will fit in this socket or we just use that motherboard in the half system and then we'll start building it we'll start building the the, high, the half gaming computer um, but that's going to be on the next episode so as I said hit the subscribe button it will probably be next week when I start building um, and if you want this case probably throw in a few fans that I have because I don't need all those fans um, I won't know until I've started building that other case. Um, message me. Message me below or message me in uh, in, the, uh, in my Instagram that I'm going to hopefully try and post on this video. I don't know how to do it. I don't have to do much on the editing. So you're going to have to teach me if you can. Send me some comments and teach me. But yeah, we've got another fan here. Add to our collection. I have to clean that one up. Oh, we've got an I.O. shield. That's something we could use again, right? We could use that in the uh, half case. So we've got an I.O. shield. Um, and then you have power supply. So I don't want all these screws. But I like the look of these computer screws. I'm going to keep those ones. And then I'm going to let you guys, whoever has this, have the non looking computer screws type things which are these nothing wrong with them but I just want it all similar when I start building the other case um, I think that's it for now uh, for this video so uh, let me know what you think of the motherboard let me know if there's any tips or tricks I can do with those pins, it looks like there's a bit of damage right in the middle there. Um, let me know if you need, if you want this case with the power supply. Oh, one more thing here. We've got these things, which look like standoffs, which I want, right? Can't get them out of your hand. I'm gonna need. What am I gonna need for that? I need a socket of some sort. Let's try this. Lovely, so we even got some standoffs now. There you go. Won't be coming with the case, unfortunately, guys. Get your own standoffs. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it for that, guys. We're just going to clean it up. You don't want to see that. We've got all the bits. Tune in for the next week or tune in the next video. Um, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video where I'll start putting all the pieces into the half system. And uh, we'll see what we end up with that. Right, thanks for, thanks for watching. As I said, please subscribe uh, and press like as well. And leave any messages, any tips, any tricks, anything you want me to do, see, test, whatever. But yeah, next video we're going to start doing the half 
case um, we're going to see if we get a gaming PC where I can get on and game and start kicking some butts. Alright, thanks for tuning in. Catch you on the next one. Cheers guys, bye.